President Obama is attempting to use fast-track trade authority to jam the Trans-Pacific Partnership through Congress and unilaterally guide its outcome. While the Constitution says that any treaties, you know, agreements made with foreign nations, have to be ratified by two-thirds of the Senate, the President and virtually all the Republicans in Congress, along with a goodly number of loyal Democrats, want to go around that. The treaty that the President wants to propose in a way that circumvents the Constitution is a treaty that will bring about even more outsourcing. This is not the American way. Could it be considered ill-advised, misunderstood, or treasonous if one of our leaders tied up all of the following issues that affect us and decreed that management and decisions of the following will be taken out of our hands and given to the WTO for their supervision and approval? Some of these issues include intellectual property rights like patents and copyrights, government procurement like Buy American, which would be banned, investment and land use, service sector regulation, food and product safety, corporate competition, internet rights, environmental standards, and limits to government regulation of financial services. This would literally take control of our government and place it in the hands of foreign global leaders. With the giant transnational corporations and the billionaires who run them, they want free trade. They want the American workforce to be living on the edge of poverty. It makes it much easier for them to skim billions off the top and to politically disempower working class Americans. They make more money and working people make less. President Obama is secretly leading the misunderstood TPP agenda and he's willing to bypass Congress and the Constitution to do so, largely via the Fast Track Trade Authority. The Fast Track Trade Authority grants the President of the United States dictator-like powers to completely bypass Congress so his personal agenda can get passed. There's no input from Congress, let alone the public, about what goes into these trade agreements before they receive a single up or down vote from Congress. The Fast Track Authority also allows the White House to work in secrecy with negotiators and lobbyists from large multinational corporations to rewrite policies that affect areas from job security for average Americans to the health and safety of our food. They know that it's so toxic that they're negotiating it in secret. They won't even tell members of Congress what's up. And they tend to they intend to dump this thing in front of Congress on a take it or leave it basis. Instead of calling it a treaty, they're calling it an agreement. So that instead of two thirds of the Senate, it's only going to require a 51% vote of both houses of Congress. As a result of both NAFTA and the WTO, the U.S. has fallen victim to job losses, alarming debt and trade deficits, outsourcing of businesses on a catastrophic scale, and a flood of cheaply made foreign imports. While average tariffs from the administration of George Washington through Jimmy Carter had been in the 30% range, Reagan began dropping them and Clinton pushed them through the floor when signed NAFTA and the GATT. Average import tariffs now are less than 2%. The result? It's almost impossible to find anything made in America, except maybe at a fast food joint. And even there, more and more of the beef and vegetables are imported from south of the border. By utilizing the Fast Track Authority, President Obama is destroying our fundamental constitutional system of checks and balances, while simultaneously trading away our sovereignty to foreign nations and multinational corporations in the name of free trade. President Obama dumps the TPP on Congress and asks for a fast-track, up-or-down vote with no amendments. There's going to be a lot of political pressure from corporations on the Republicans, from the Democratic Party on Democrats, to pass it. You may want to let your member of Congress know your thoughts on the issue in advance.